Before we get into today's video, I'd like to thank AOA.com for sponsoring this channel. AOA is a third-party website that buys and sells all Rocket League items, including credits and blueprints. Use coupon code JSPAY to save 3% at checkout. And welcome back, guys. It is Jack Volspade. I am back in with some more Rocket League, and today we are going to be doing another preset tour. Um, it's been quite a while since we've done our last one. There's been a lot of new items that have come out since then, and I always try and cycle my presets through, you know, make new designs as the old ones get uninteresting, and try and keep things fresh. So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the designs we've got here. Um, in relation to this, I think we are going to be doing a design contest soon um, and I've got some suggestions for some categories for that that I'm going to ask you guys to vote on and honestly I think it might be a good idea to just get it out of the way now since it's at the beginning of the video so um, just so you guys know it looks like there are going to be prizes of uh, Heatwave uh, black market decal a Trigon black market decal and a 20XX black market decal at least for the design contest um, and we're probably gonna have a total of three different categories um, I know that one of those categories is gonna be budget um, but we need you guys to help me decide what the other two are gonna be so the suggestions that we've got right now um, is that we would have a RLCS uh, category which actually makes good sense since there's new drops coming out right now and CRL is starting up um, there could be a category that only uses items from the Revival series, or at least mostly uses items from the Revival series. Um, we could also do a category with uh, only items from Golden Lanterns, or mostly items from Golden Lanterns. And then an idea that I personally like is doing a category with static designs, meaning designs that do not move. Um, I mean, I would consider what I've got on right now a static design um, I guess the halo moves a little bit but you know technically um, so I, I think that that's probably you know one of the categories that I would go for but I'm gonna leave it up to you we'll go ahead and put that poll up there right now thanks so much for participating in that but we'll go ahead and get into the actual uh, preset tour at this point so you guys know this design this is my main design that I've had for quite a while um, just quickly you know we've got a purple art RLCS decal on there. The purple Apex are Victor certified, and those are some of my favorites that I've had for quite a long time at this point. Um, also, I know that it has been glitching out tonight and it's been skipping through these tabs even when I'm not pressing the button, so I'm sorry if that happens, but um, huge fan of the purple Victor Apex. Um, on the other side, we've got the white Arrow Mages uh, certified Victor as well, which is my favorite cert if you guys didn't know, but I'm just a big fan of these colors in general. You know, purple's a great color and uh, I love the Steg and Halo toppers. Um, right here we've got a purple Stormwatch Pyros setup. Um, I do kind of like the white octane kind of framing that on the sides. Um, I used to have better Crimson Wheels. I had like Crimson Illuminatas on here, but I recently sold those, so I put the Pulses on instead. Um, I know the blind trading account that Alex is lending me has, uh, oh actually... It's sky blue Dracos that are on there, not crimson. Um, so we've got a streamline here. Uh, that's a decal that I haven't really been seen, uh, been used too much recently. So um, I always like to get some use out of lesser used items. Um, I think just in general, I like having a lot of variety to my designs. I like being able to use items that I get, you know, new stuff in my inventory. I usually go and immediately put that on a preset somewhere. Um, and just in general, I don't like all of my stuff using the same types of items, same types of decals. Um, I really like mixing it up. So uh, you can see right here we've got the uh, Balakars and the Tumbling Blocks. I really do wish that I had a Saffron Tumbling Blocks or something that matched the Balakars a little bit better, but uh, just in general I think that that's a decent design made out of, the, made out of some lesser used items. 
Uh, we got some uh, Infiniums on the uh, Lone Wolf over here. Um, I like the anodized paint in general. That's one of my favorite paint finishes, if not my favorite paint finish. So you'll definitely see that on a lot of designs. Um, kind of a color blocky uh, design over here with the saffron, crimson, purple uh, color scheme. Over here we've got the black meridians, which are also uh, Victor Cert. Um, got those a while ago as well. I know this is kind of specific and might be a long shot, but I am looking for a purple Victor Dune Racer to replace my purple one, so if any of you guys uh, know of one, somebody with one, that would be great, um, just hit me up. But. Uh, let's see next one. Uh, this is one of the newer ones that I made tonight um, Thankfully uh, Alex and Zypher two great guys from the uh, Rocket League trading lounge Facebook group um, They lent me some rocket pass stuff because I don't really have much uh, Stuff from the two most recent rocket passes. I didn't actually purchase either of them So I was just trying to throw something together that looked kind of dune buggy ish um, Over here. We've got the 20xx with the holographic purple pickets I do kind of like how those go together. I think the diagonal um, lines on the 20XX kind of work well with the holographic purple pickets. Um, got a pretty simple design over here that's actually been around for so long. Um, this is probably one of our oldest designs and uh, I certainly can't claim it myself. There's been dozens of people who've done that design before I ever got the game, but um, you know, it's just nice to have some classic stuff too. Uh, you'll definitely see that not all of my presets match on both sides. Um, some do have like similarities, like how we've got goop on both sides here. But uh, I, I, as I said, you know, I like variety to my presets, and I think sometimes uh, I just prefer to have something different on each side. So we got Goop here, which is actually one of my favorite decals. I really, really like that. Um, Saffron Patriarchs over here, which definitely look better since they, uh, you know, reskinned them. Um, we got some Centros here, Trigon. Trigon's definitely one of my favorite black market decals, has been for a while. I like Discotex. Unfortunately, we don't have as many colors of Discotex as we used to, but I think uh, Discotex and Trigon go together well. Over here, we got some uh, Crimson Loopers, kind of a Crimson and Navy setup. I think I actually had this on my black endo. Um, so honestly, we might put it back on there real quick. Uh, oh, I forgot. That's why I sold my black endo. Okay, I completely forgot that, but that's all right. I got a good price for it. <laughs> um, black dicey's on this side. Stormwatch, red and black. Um, over here we got Kilowatt, another really good animated very rare decal that I think is underused, underappreciated. Uh, Voltaics, just to kind of fit in with the electricity theme. And over here we got Zephrums, which kind of have a similar movement along the tread. So, um, you know, definitely like that. Over here we've got some White Zombas, White Octane, and the, uh, that, that's a Grey Dune Racer. Um, I do not have a white dune racer right now. Um, the Zombas are CC4 and Victor. Um, uh, good friend Great Bambino got those for me a while ago. And the Octane is Victor Cert as well. Um, I definitely like my Victor Cert, so it's good to have those on some of the bigger items. Um, so big shout out again to Zypher for getting me these Chikaras since I didn't have any. Um, went ahead and put Streamline on here because I think it works really well with the um, accents that come along the side of the Chikara already. Um, the White Zombas, you know, just work well with uh, that that whole scheme. Um, over here, we actually got some white dices on a purple Thanatos um, with anodized. And you know, in general, I definitely don't see many people using uh, white non-crate exotics um, or non-crate uncommons. But uh, I think that white dices actually work decent with this uh, preset here. Um, in general, I, I don't really use too many white non-crate exotics, but I think that those work. Over here we got our purple Victor Emeralds and the uh, purple Thanatos again, uh, this time with a gold primary. So, big fan of that. You know, gold and purple are definitely one of my favorite color schemes in general. Um, got some more Rocket Pass wheels here. Um, 
uh, thanks again to, you know, Alex and Zypher for hooking me up. Um, the Mud Cat is definitely not mine. Uh, I don't really have any of the new Rocket Pass stuff, but they helped me out. So just tried to make a couple of Rocket Pass designs, uh, get some variety in there. And then <laughs> this guy, this guy's a little bit trippy. Um, this is a Samurai with uh, reverbs. We've got both the Crimson and the Purple side. Um, in general, I think that Labyrinth is one of those decals that works really well with reverbs. I think it's just, uh, you know, a good similar uh, effect. And uh, I, I, I really like seeing how Labyrinth looks on different cars, you know? Because uh, depending on like the angles and the shape of the car, um, it looks very much different. So. I'm a big fan of that. I actually think I might switch it over to this uh, Sentinel. Um, I kind of like how it looks on the Takumi too. But anyways, uh, I just kind of thought that was a funny design. Um, over here we got one of our Roadhog Saffron Infiniums carbonated as the decal. Again, I've said this before and I'll say it again, it's a great decal. I wish that they made carbonated for the Octane or the Dominus, something else that would be great. But, you know, don't want to speak too soon, it might happen. Uh, right here we've got the X-Devil Mark II, and I actually think that the Goop decal works exceptionally well on the X-Devil Mark II. In general, I'm not really a huge fan of the car, but as I said, I like the variety and I think it works alright. So We got those uh, purple arrow mages on there, which were actually donated by Alex a long, long time ago, before before you know he had even started the Facebook group or anything. Um, so, you know, shout out to him, black arrow mages on this side. Uh, <laughs> I decided to throw the hard hat on here. I'm not exactly sure why I did, but um, we've got a color blocky, color blocky color scheme with the uh, RLCS decal. Um, I, I do, I do like crimson, saffron, and purple. I think that's a good combination, and uh, you'll see that on some other cars as well. Um, the meridians, I think, are actually striker. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I feel like I might have pulled those myself, but I'm not 100% certain, but yep, they are strikers, so that's kind of cool. Over here we've got uh, Jaeger, White Jaeger with our purple Victor Emeralds, uh, Bubbly as the decal. Um, I, I really like Bubbly in general, I think it's a great decal, but honestly I just haven't been using it as much recently. I feel like it's kind of fallen out of style, it's not as trendy. Um, over here we've got some inverted P sims, which, honest to god, are just terrible, horrible, atrocious wheels. But, uh, you know, I like variety, right? <laughs> so, on the other side we've got our purple equalizers with the streamline. Um, that purple and sky blue color scheme kind of matching each other there. Do, do enjoy that. Um, over here we've got a, uh, another Chikara. Um, we've got the default arrow mages with both the saffron and the sky blue in them. And on the other side we've got the cobalt infiniums. I think those are actually the striker ones that I pulled from my opening the other day. Um, over here we've got... <laughs> Oh geez, I, I was like, you know, anticipating it being a serious design, but I forgot that I made this thing. Um, obviously this is just kind of a joke. Uh, I bought the Proteus a while back, you know, back when I didn't understand the value of money. Um, and we've got uh, a catfish on there, right? Because the Proteus is supposed to be an underwater vehicle. Catfish, you know, underwater... <laughs> underwater animal. I have no idea what I was trying to say there. Um, but yeah, just uh, I guess a little little meme car. Got the black catfish there. Um, number 11, uh, again, Labyrinth, good decal. The purple FSLs are Striker, I believe. Um, again, that purple and yellow color scheme that you guys have seen before. Over here, a uh, lot of lime. Uh, I think I used to have lime loopers on there, but I sold those recently. I've honestly been selling a lot of stuff, so, you know, a lot of these presets got 
uh, deconstructed. Um, we do have our crimson loopers left. I think those are one of the only colors of loopers we've got remaining, but they're definitely some of my favorites. I really enjoy those, and we've still got our purple illuminatas, um, which are definitely a favorite as well. Dominus GT is just one of those bodies you don't see too much, so I like to give it some use, you know, and have it and have some screen time. I uh, got the Royal Tyrants on here. Um, I used to have the Royal Tyrant set. I'm not sure if it's still complete, but we got Black Tunicas here, Victor Cert, and the uh, White Dracos Victor Cert as well. Um, over here we've got more Cobalt Infiniums. Again, one of my favorite Infiniums. I like that color scheme. And on this side, we've got our purple Zombas with a Chameleon. And I actually really like how, you know, this color scheme works and how it slowly changes, you know, both in the wheels and in the decal. I, um, I, I'm pretty proud of this one, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I like this one. So, <laughs> let me know if it's trash. Um, I need to get a reality check on some of these. Um, <laughs> we've got the infinite Zowies here, and I do kind of like how the Huntress decal for the Artemis uh, kind of mimics that infinite uh, uh, effect. Um, on the other side, we've got some of those newer Rocket Pass wheels to match the Crimson color scheme, because I sold the Crimson Zowies that were on here before. Uh, over here, more Rocket Pass wheels, the Kana Very Rare Decal, which again is one of my favorite Very Rare Decals. I think, you know, it's Goop, Kana, and Kilowatt. I think those three are my favorite Very Rare Decals in the game. Um, other side, uh, this, this is an older design than this one. The, you know, wheels are new because I just got them tonight, but, uh, you know, this is a design that I've had around for a while. Um, I do like the, the purple and blue, that's definitely a nice color scheme. Over here we got Trigon and Troublemakers. Um, obviously you can see how those two go together. Um, got that similar grid pattern going on. Uh, right here we got Capacitors and Purple Hextide. Um, never really been a fan of Hextide. I really don't like, like how it looks. Um, but, you know, you gotta give it some use. If you're gonna buy it, you gotta give it some use. Um, right here we got a Crimson DT5 with the sky blue new Rocket Pass wheels. Um, I think they're called like hella somethings. Um, and then on this side we've got our white DT5 with purple hypnotics, uh, bubbly. Um, I think this used to be on an octane, but I changed it to a DT5 tonight because you know, I didn't really have any vehicles, uh, any any presets on an Imperator yet. Um, this is very classic, you know, you guys will recognize a design like this. Very, very classic, very old. Um, but we've got the anodized uh, paint finish with the white lone wolf, black dices, also Victor Cert, black steg on top. So, yeah, simple, clean, classy. Uh, over here we've got the new uh, Rocket Pass 5 decal and Luster Edge. Um, we've got a white one on this side with our purple crux there, and on the other side, I believe it's a forest green one to go with the uh, crimson uh, zombies, because obviously those have some uh, forest green um, in them. Uh, I did actually have Chameleon on here before. It was kind of similar to that purple Zomba Chameleon combination, but you know, I, I kind of like the Luster Edge better. It just feels like, I don't know. Maybe I just like it because it's new to me, but you know, it still looks good. Um, over here, I actually used to have Wonder Mints on here, and then after that, I had Photons on here, but uh, I don't really have like that great of like forest green and saffron exotics right now at least not on this account um so i went ahead and put the hollow spheres on here but they really don't match they're not the same tone they're like a little lighter um so you know not the best but um i like having the octopuses on there and i think that's funny uh we've got the maverick here with one of those like default uh static decals the wheels are RLCS, uh, they're Aethers and Razzles, you know, from a few seasons back. Um, you know, nothing too much to talk about, but I like it. Uh, more Aeromages here, Black Aeromages with our Purple Dune Racer again. Uh, purple Aeromages with the Purple Dune Racer. 
Um, I do kind of like how like the saffron kind of looks like a lime, but kind of not. Um, I don't know. It's just chill. Uh, over here, we've got the Dominus Afterlife decal, which I really like, you know. I, I honestly, I am surprised that I didn't uh, start making designs with Afterlife earlier. Um, I'm not a Dominus player, so I guess that probably contributes to it, but uh, it just looks really good, very clean. I, I really like these static decals that just have, you know, some work put into them. Obviously, like, some design went into this, and I enjoy it. So, big fan of that. Uh, shout out to whoever designed the Afterlife decal at Psyonix. Um, oh lord, this is, uh, I don't know, something. Um, I just wanted to, uh, use that decal, and I guess Hypnotics were the wheels that matched it. On this side, however, we've got the formation decal, again, just trying to get some use out of it, and those uh, white Dracos. Uh, purple, infinite, are, are these infinite? I know they're special edition, I'm not sure what they're called, but um, the purple, uh, uh, infinite A6, yep. Um, along with that dissolver there, and on the other side, it's gonna be our Crimson Loopers again, with a very dark, dark blue, uh, bubbly with the crimson in there as well. So, big fan of that. Um, over here we've got Heatwave on a Roadhog XL. Uh, regular Hypnos on here, I think I was just trying to get some more variety in here. Uh, nothing too much there. I was actually kind of surprised at how much I like this design. Um, you know, the dots in the Infinium match the dots on the Dot Rush, and just in general, I think it really works. I think that bright white and that bright crimson really work well together, and you know, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, other side, we've got purple volts with uh, purple distortion. I guess I was just trying to find something that was also like an animated very rare decal for the other side. Uh, grip strides. Uh, we've got a few colors of grip strides, but I don't use them as much as I should. Um, Hextide, again, purple and Victor certified. Uh, I think we've got Victor on both the Grip Strides and the Emeralds, um, if I'm correct about that. Oh, please don't glitch out. Okay, yep, Victor. Let's take a look at the other side. Oh man, if we can. Oh jeez. Yep, Victor as well. All right, and uh, 47 is gonna be the black and saffron 20X sets with the black razzles there. Um, on the other side, we got the white Yamanes with the white uh, Royal Tyrant. Uh, another color, blo uh, color blocky pattern with the uh, RLCS decal, black tunicas. Uh, got the percussion decal on here with the Crimson Discotex. I think that those also go, go together decently. Um, in general, I'm not a huge fan of the percussion decal. I think it's just a little too loud, a little too much, but I think it works well with the Discotex. Uh, right here, we've just got um, a Burnt Sienna preset because I didn't really have one and I wanted to make one. On this side, this used to be uh, a Forest Green Discotech preset, and you know, Forest Green Discotechs kind of have a sky blue, saffron, lime, forest green gradient, and I really, really liked that. Um, so that's why you see the sky blue and the octane and the steg, but uh, I just didn't end up, uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't have the Discotechs anymore, so um, I couldn't find anything that was, you know, similar in terms of that gradient combination. So it was just the uh, rocket pass wheel that we put on there. On uh, here, this used to be the Lime Loopers as well. Now it's the Lime K2 with the no decal. Um, other side, we've got our Crimson Loopers and the same decal, anodized paint finish. 54 is going to be another rocket pass design with Hexed and Mudcat, Phoenix Wings on top, and the Cobalt Sovereigns there, which I believe I pulled myself on the last double painted weekend before uh, Epic stops doing that. Um, yeah, and then uh, 55 is gonna be this really, really dark uh, chameleon 
preset. Um, you know, you just get the darkest primary you can and uh, put the secondary as black. Um, black Dicey's on there as well, and the Black Steg up top. Uh, purple Photons here with our Purple Thanatos again. Other side's gonna have the Illuminatas, but that's actually pretty similar to something you've already seen. So that's gonna bring us back to Preset 57, my first and favorite. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I know that it always takes a while to get through these just because there's a lot of them. So hopefully you guys, you know, were interested and I uh, kept it fresh. Um, if you have any suggestions for other categories for the design contest, I'd love to hear them. Um, go ahead and comment them, anything like that. And we will get that video up very soon detailing the categories and rules and everything. So I hope that you guys are interested. Please let me know if you are. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good one. And I will catch you all on the next one.